guys, welcome back. If you guys are new here, my name is Renee and this is Monet Baby. Today I am gonna be showing you guys what is in my hospital bag. put it all together I'm 35 weeks pregnant now so really baby could come at any time so I'm gonna show you guys what I am bringing with me to the hospital it's actually two bags well like two and a half because I have like my bathroom caddy in the bathroom ready to go I of course am bringing with me an extra bag just for like all the dirty clothes or anything like I don't want mixed in with clean clothes I'm also bringing with me some girly glue and I have a bunch of little bows for baby girl that when she comes out, I put a bunch of bows on her. I'm pretty sure she's gonna have a ton of hair like Julia did when she was born. I'm also bringing tons of snacks. Do you want one of mommy's snacks? Okay. There goes one of my snacks. When I was induced with Julia, I did bring like some Rice Krispie treats with me and Mariano ate them right away. They're mostly for Mariano because when you're in labor, you're not really supposed to eat anything other than ice chips. The minute baby pops out, you're gonna be starving. I'm also gonna bring with me some water bottles and maybe some juice boxes, I'm not sure. So I have some fruit roll-ups, some Rice Krispie treats, and some little bites. Good stuff. I have some extra letters for my letter board and I'm gonna bring with me my letter board as well so I can take some adorable pictures. I'm also gonna bring with me my belly band. This one is for during pregnancy and after pregnancy, so this one's gonna be perfect. When I had Julia, the hospital did provide a belly band, but this one isn't comfortable at all. But, cause after you pop the baby out, you feel weird. Like you feel like something's missing. It's just all like empty inside. So you have to have a belly band so you feel like a little more secure. You feel more comfortable. For baby girl, I am bringing some swaddles. These are the muslin swaddles. I, I've never used these before. I didn't use these with Julia, but they're supposed to be super, super good. I have two muslin swaddles that I am going to use. I also have a boppy cover. Julia's boppy wound up ripping, so I'm in the process of ordering a new one, but I'm gonna be bringing a boppy with me as well for nursing. So especially if you, so if you're gonna be breastfeeding, make sure you do bring a boppy because it is going to be a lifesaver. When I had Julie, we actually didn't know that we needed to put a onesie underneath all of her footy pajamas. So <laughs> Julia wound up coming home from the hospital with no onesie on. It's okay because we learned our lesson. I am bringing with me a newborn size onesie and creamy onesies because Julia was for about two weeks after she was born in a creamy size. I'm also bringing with me creamy size footy pajamas just in case. If you guys haven't watched my baby's first outfit video yet, the links to that will be in the description to this video. It's explaining to me all of baby's first outfits that I will be bringing with me. I'm also bringing with me baby's first outfit, her coming home outfit that comes with a little hat. I will be having baby girl in the beginning of January and temperatures are already in the 20s and 30s. I am going to bring this little snowsuit. It's not really a snowsuit, it's just like an extra warm I guess it's a snowsuit. I don't even know what this is. That's all I'm bringing for baby girl. I'm gonna put this all back so I don't lose anything. In the front pocket, I have some nursing pads. I have both the disposable and the washable nursing pads. I really like these nursing pads. They're really soft, honestly, on the nipples. So when you first start breastfeeding, it's really hard on your nipples. So you want that cushion there. And it's also to prevent new leakage. I do really like the disposable ones because you can just take them off and throw them out rather than these when you run out and they're dirty, like what are you gonna do? <laughs> I do have both because these are really soft. I am also bringing this, I used this when I was first pregnant with Julia to help remember the last time you fed the baby. Put this bag to the side. Bag number two is mostly mine and Mariano's clothes just so I'm keeping that separate from the baby stuff. I am also bringing with me two delivery and nursing robes. These are gonna come in handy so much after the baby's born and you're able to change out of that disgusting gown they give you. I am bringing with me a pretty long sleeve shirt for the photography session that they do in the hospital with the baby and the parents. Bringing with me pants, and I'm also bringing with me the pants I'm wearing. <laughs> Extra comfortable stretchy pants. Some pajama pants as well. I was in the hospital for almost an entire week when Julia was born, so I am trying to prepare myself. I was gonna bring with me socks, but they have to have like the rubber things on the bottom where the hospital won't let you wear them. They usually just provide them, so I'm not even gonna bother packing them in the hospital bag. I'm bringing with me tons of underwear, because you are gonna go through a lot when you are in the hospital, and the hospital does provide these diaper things. I use those for like the first day, so I'm just I'm just preparing myself. I'm bringing extra of everything. 
I am also bringing two nursing bras. This one is extra comfortable. It has no padding, no nothing, no wires. So this is gonna be extra comfortable for after baby's born because your boobs are gonna be really sore. I'm also bringing the one I'm wearing, which is a little more supportive. More underwear. I am bringing Mariano some shirts. I'm bringing him a blue and pink shirt. Again, for the photography session, we do want to look good. I am bringing Mariano an extra pair of underwear as well and an extra pair of socks. Even though we are gonna be living right down the road from the hospital and Mariano's gonna have to come back to check on Julia. So this is just a just in case, in case he doesn't make it back in time, in case he needs to change his clothes and you know. I have both my hospital bags ready to go, waiting for when I do go into labor. I have a diaper bag, but I don't think I'm gonna bring it because you don't really need it. That is gonna go over there with the rest of the stuff that I'm gonna use when the baby's born for when we come home. The car seat has to come. One of these days, Mariano is gonna install the base into the car so that's all ready to go. The car seat has the insert, and it also I have the insert that the car seat came with, but this one's just cuter. I am also bringing with me the car seat cover so that Wind won't be able to get to her when we do leave the hospital. You're excited to be a big sister? Yes. Yeah. You're gonna help mommy? Yes. Yeah. In the bathroom, hanging on the doorknob, right where I could see it, where someone could just come in and grab it when I go into labor. I have this little bag that's filled with a bunch of stuff that I use on a daily basis. Inside that bag, I am bringing with me a brush and my hair stuff, some deodorant, two travel size, a shampoo and conditioner. I'm also bringing with me a razor, some Q-tips, a bobby pin, some extra hair ties, you never know. <laughs> my mascara and any makeup I'm gonna need my eyebrow stuff, a nail file, and some nail polish just in case I forget to paint my disgusting nails. <laughs> I'm bringing with me the makeup stuff that I need and some chapstick. I was going to bring my hair straightener and a blow dryer. So if that is stuff that you use on a daily basis, make sure you do bring that. But I don't think I'm gonna bring that because I, this is going to be my labor and delivery hairstyle. That is why I've been doing my hair like this every day so that when I do go into labor, I'm all ready to go. And then when I take it out of this, it's usually all curly and wavy and all pretty. And that is everything that is in my little bag. That is everything I am bringing with me to the hospital when I go into labor or need to be induced or whatever the case. That is everything I am bringing with me. I'm sure I am overpacking and bringing way too much, but I'd rather be overprepared than underprepared and wish I had something when I go to the hospital. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to comment down below what you guys think of this vlog because I love hearing what you guys think of the videos. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.